Uh, good evening, everyone. Edward once again, uh, Director EdTech Solutions, Traflight, Attain Work, and so many websites. Well, today I have a very short video, and uh, basically I've dedicated this video to WordPress lovers, WordPress developers, everyone there who is using WordPress. I have very good news for you. Uh, we've been struggling to, you know, install such console, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, especially. Uh, most of the Google Google products, you know, you install each individually, but now you can't imagine Google came up with a product called Site Kit, Google Site Kit. Let me just open my Word file here. Uh, so today's video will be how to set up Google Site Kit by Edward, okay, and that is the guy there. So basically, I've just copied this content from one of the articles that was made by one guy, Maria Moeva, is a product manager at Google. I won't go through what he said, but I'll rush quickly to what he's talking about. I mean, the importances of this of this tool. So he says somewhere here that based on feedback, we focused on the following features: seamless site verification with Search Console, uh, providing and configuration of analytics, AdSense, Tag Manager, and Optimize. All those were handled individually, but right now it is all under one unit. Then it says simple aggregate and <coughs> per page reporting from Search Console, Analytics, AdSense to help you understand the full acquisition and monetization funnel. Now, continuous site performance, auditing and monitoring with page speed insights and others. So you can scroll through this document and watch. I will actually put a link in the description. You can click on that link and then read more about it. But let me just go straight to how you have to set it up into your WordPress. Okay, now this is our site, Ed Marketing Solutions or Editech Solutions. We basically deal in search engine optimization, PPC, social media management, and uh, actually all we cover all gaps of digital marketing. So basically, let us try to go to the back end of this video. Sorry, of this website. I just click here and I go to dashboard. Let's see. Normally, this will depend on the speed of your internet or how heavy your website is. So, mine is trying to open a little bit fast, meaning my internet is good or favoring. Okay, now when you when you go to the when you get to the back end of WordPress, you have to head to plugins, straight to plugins, and then add a new plugin. So these guys have a link on the description. You're going to check our description. You'll find the link where you'll be downloading this plugin. I think they have not yet put it on uh, in the WordPress repository. So you'll have to go into our description and get that link. So for 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 this case study, we have already downloaded the tool, and uh, we're just going to show you how to upload it. Though if you know how to to upload plugins, it is the same way. There is no difference. They're following the actual format. But for learning purposes, let us, try, let us also try to upload it. Okay, so it is right here uh, in my downloads. It's called Google Site Kits. Simply drag it and then put it here and then click on install. Just like you install other plugins. Okay, so once it finishes installation, then we shall head to another tab uh, because I've already done my installation here. So I'll just open one another window which has uh, this dashboard, the, the site kit dashboard. So here, this is the site kit dashboard. You, you just look, check through the left pane here. Uh, among the plugins that you've installed, you'll find one called site kit dashboard. Okay. Now, these are the steps which you have to go through. You have cre create client ID, then authenticate, verify URL, connect search console, and then finish. Only five steps, you're done. Then you'll have the rest of what these guys are talking about here in in the, in the document I've tried to put here. Let's see. Okay. Now from this side, they've put a special link here. They say welcome to Site Kit Beta for developers. It is still in testing mode, but better to start using it. You know, so that you enjoy all the uh, benefits. So welcome to Site Kit Beta for developers to complete a setup. It will help you. you no, know, to complete the setup, it will help you. If you are familiar with Google Cloud Platforms or Google Auth, uh, it sounds like you 
get started by creating a client configuration on developers.google.com this is a developers link then once you finish this site you just copy and paste that link there we are going to go through that actually I already clicked on this link and I have it here uh, it, takes, it takes us to this page but let us click again so that we can have it you can see it physically I just have to click here tap then we shall get to that link now what it does here I won't go deep into it but what it does it tries to pull out the information that is already configured in the website if you look at the project name these are the namings that I've given to my site search engine optimization though uh, it is better to, to, to give the actual name of the website this is just a keyword but I don't have any problem with it so you can put whatever you want then the application name is the, the domain name which is editechsolutions.com then the support email they will fetch the exact email that you used while installing WordPress the redirect URL will be that okay so from this particular moment you have to click on get off credentials so it is as simple as that what they will do they will give you this code you have to copy this code okay then head back to uh, wordpress then site kit dashboard and paste this code here it is a javascript code so the moment you you, you you paste it here let me try first delete it you see this proceed button is inactive but the moment i paste this one here it becomes active so when you click on proceed then it will start the authentication and then other steps i just don't want to make this video too long i'll try to break it down into a series of videos so i would like to end this one here and uh, please try to subscribe to our youtube channel share our videos don't forget to click on that bell so that you always get a notification when we upload new videos uh, let me sign out edward